We're going to cross live to Jerusalem. We're going to speak to our correspondent, Sami Sokol, who joins us from there. Sami, first of all, just update us on the latest on the ground. I mean, the fighting uh, appears to be uh, very much ongoing once again. Yes, and I can tell you that here uh, on the Israeli side, there is definitely a preparation uh, for a on, uh, ongoing uh, strikes in, in Gaza. And uh, we know it because uh, all throughout the south of Israel, uh, schools have uh, canceled their studies today. And we're talking about all the schools in towns like Beersheba, uh, Ashkelon, Ashdod, of course, all the smaller communities that are, of Israelis who are living around the Gaza Strip. Also there, they've recommended that the schools will be all shut down. Uh, even though the, uh, there are shelters in these schools, uh, they fear that there will be more rockets launched from the Gaza Strip and that they might put these pupils in, uh, in danger. And uh, on the, on the other hand, Hamas has said that if Israel is not going to strike the, the Gaza Strip, and it has said those things to the Egyptian uh, mediators, uh, that it will not strike uh, Israel. Um, so we're, we're now waiting to see. Uh, during the night, there were tens of uh, targets in the Gaza Strip that were bombarded by the Israeli Air Force, a variety of targets belonging both to Hamas and Islamic Jihad, the military targets, uh, somewhat in Gaza, they say, are government uh, buildings. And at the same time, we saw rockets uh, flying into Israel. Um, um, no uh, injuries on the, in the Israeli side this night. Uh, but I can tell you that the anticipation is that this round is not over yet. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I would say that uh, the way uh, we, we, we anticipate it is that both parties uh, are still uh, looking for ways to uh, bring some kind of a ceasefire, I would say. Politically, um, Sami, Benjamin Netanyahu, he cut short his trip to the US to return to Israel, didn't he? I mean, what uh, is, is likely to be his next moves, if you like? Yes, I think that it was a very uh, clever uh, move on, on behalf of uh, Netanyahu uh, to come back uh, to Israel. Uh, Netanyahu, who has been accused uh, by law enforcement here for corruption affairs, and, and a lot of this election campaign has been around uh, the, the way Netanyahu has been uh, behaving on corruption issues and, uh, and his lifestyle. So uh, leaving Washington, leaving those dinners uh, with, with Trump and with other uh, officials in Congress, coming back to Israel, uh, being together, connecting with the people of Israel uh, during this uh, period is, is definitely a message that the Israeli uh, public uh, would, is appreciating and will appreciate. Uh, and I also think that the fact that uh, Netanyahu is coming back to Israel with an achievement uh, getting a, 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 an agreement from the uh, Trump signing the recognition of the Golan Heights as being part for Israel. Uh, all of this is a big achievement for uh, Netanyahu. And we're now waiting to see who will have the upper hand at the end of this uh, round, whether it will be Hamas or Israel. And this will determine whether Netanyahu will appear as a strong personality on military affairs or not. Sammy, thanks very much. Sammy Sakhot, correspondent, joining us live there from Jerusalem.